In terms of the integration of this, so if we're in brush knee, if you get back, when Jim punches at me, right, and I do brush knee, I meet this hand here and I drill up, which causes him to sort of resist down to where I really want to take him. So when he punches, I drill up and I swing to that, which pulls him towards this other hand, right? Now, what's interesting is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to strike to the respiratory area. I'm right on lung 789 right here. I'm tying up this meridian right here with this pressure. He can release that pressure and we're into some other thing. But if he intends to come at me with that hand, if I try to push it down like this, you see, I push myself out. Mm -hmm. So instead I file up, file down, and I pull him into this, right? The problem is this, <coughs> you know, his counter strikes are all out of whack because I disturbed his base, yeah. right? My his breath is out of whack because of this and because I <laughs> made him lose his base. Right. So who, who integrated the destruction of his base, the tying up of this to attack this organ? I mean, even in the Xing Yi, you know, I'm striking to the heart, we're in here in the pounding, mm -hmm. right? I mean, all these things integrate. So these arts are like taking you out on more than just your physical level. They're taking your breath, they're tying it up, they're, they're making your organ more vulnerable to a strike by tying up the energy flow in the meridians here. I mean, this is if you want to get real cosmic and deep about it, but this is what's happening. I'm not on the other side of his hand, I'm right here. I come in and I go right into that, I'm right into the long meridian there, and now I'm gonna, boom, you know? So that integration, blows my mind. Yeah. The fact that someone could do that and all these postures do this sort of thing. Like I'm not searching for his head. When he punches, I'm bringing his head into my hand with this, with the handle of the whip. And I'm disturbing his root so that his counter punches and kicks are, are eliminated or weakened. Neutralized. You know? Severely neutralized. Yeah. I mean, even if you get one off, it's like, right. <laughs> you know, it's like right. a scuff, right. you know? So right. this is a very interesting thing. Like in boxing, if he's punching me, I'm trying to get around this and find a, a, a counter, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm moving my head. Like, I want to be like, go ahead, come right to my head because I'm going to feed your head right to my hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm not so worried about the other parts because I'm going to manipulate your whole body from my contact point. And that's what it's all about even pull down and split. You know, if he punches, you know, the old karate just punch and kick me here, right? right? Mm -hmm. But if he goes to do that, do I disengage and let him wail me with the other hands? Right. Or when he punches, do I take his kicks out with the contact point? Right. You know what I mean? So that's the thing I love the most about this art is those sort of integrations. And when you see those kind of integrations, it kind of makes you wonder, the kind of person who put it together. Like, who were they? Person. Or them. Yeah. And even if, as a them, they were a bunch of high-level thems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.